Hi right, folks, it's Howie here, Howie Cat, and I've got some more of those Walmart comic book packs. This time I picked up uh, some Marvel ones I saw, and I'm going to open up four packs. Each one has three comics in them. Um, I picked them, I'm going to do all four instead of two and two or something like that, just because, well, there's one with the Black Knight as a cover, and then three have the same book in front. So we get to see if those, how different each pack is, if they're pre-packed or just random. This will be fun. That's always fun seeing if they're pre-packed or random. So let's start with the Black Knight. And I don't think there's anything in these that's special, guaranteed. Like the other uh, sets, um, wasn't guaranteed, but one in 20, they say, have a metallic cover. That's something. Um, and then there's basically exclusive Walmart covers and books that... Um, got hot after, but they're, they were never, you know, they were off the shelves, and they end up in these. There's quite a few of those out there in these things. Um, I found a couple Batmans that I sold for 20 bucks a pop. Um, and these from before, which is covering the cost of these easily. And you get a cardboard on the back. Okay. So, this first one, we get Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade, number one. Maybe I'll read. I heard that's a really... Really, really boring series, so we'll see. Oh, a Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 19. And look at that. A Marvel graphic novel, The Death of Captain Marvel, with a lenticular cover. Uh, this came out in the 80s, or early 90s. No, 80s. This would have come out in the 80s. It was one of the first Marvel graphic novels, actually. Uh, this is obviously a reprint. They used to come out with these little bit bigger books, uh, Death, and they were um, original graphic novels rather than reprints of other comics, like a graphic novel tends to be as a compilation. They did New Mutants and the Death. This is a pretty popular book. It's a good book. I'm going to read this again. I haven't read this in years. Um, wow. I'm looking at this art, though. Something's up here. I don't know. Because that's the, the Death of Captain Marvel, Death of... Thor. Wait a second. A mighty Thor. This lenticular cover, it's showing. See how it shows? It goes from Thor, and it looks like the death. So this might be a Thor, because this art is modern, okay? And that's the cover, the death of... I don't know what this is. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what it is. It's an homage to the original, perhaps, because that's a modern story in there. And Frog Thor was much after the death of Captain Marvel. Um... Captain Marvel being the original Captain Marvel and he had space cancer as they described it. That's something about her as Thor. This is Jane Foster's Thor. Um, I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. And I'm going to read that. I think that's really cool. That's really cool to me. So, you know, that's there we go. Got a cool, really neat thing. Um, I probably would have bought that or any. I don't know. I'm going to read that. That's, that's, that's wicked cool. I'm already happy. And it looks like I'm manhandling these, but really, they're, you know, I'm not looking for 9.8 spokes. I'm just happy to be getting what I get. These are just raw copies, you know. So we're going to have three with this um, Star Wars High Republic. And then we get a Immortal Hulk, number 35. And another one of these. Amazing Spider-Man, and it's lenticular. Can I tell what the other is from here? Spider-Man versus Deadpool. It's an old thing. I don't know. I don't know. It's an homage. I have Craven. I remember that. Um, and then we have Spider-Man versus Deadpool. Um, from the Spider-Man Deadpool series, I guess, Marvel Legacy. There's spider It's an homage cover. Again, I'm going to have to look into these. This was well worth getting these three, unless they're all the same. And even then, just those lenticular covers are really fun.
I didn't expect lenticular cut. I didn't expect anything. I don't know what. I can feel it. That feels funny. I don't know for sure. I'm feeling that, but we've got to get in the High Republic. It's different now because there's a Champions Outlaw number two. Definitely want to read that. I liked number one. And we've got, oh, Howard the Duck, um, number one, but it's a, this must be an exclusive Walmart cover. It's a blank cover. This would you would take to a sketch, uh, convention and have uh, someone um, generally, you'd have Quinos or the artist or someone, um, there it is, Howard the Duck, number one, but you'd have someone sign it or draw the cover for you um, or even pick up another artist and have them draw their style of cover. It's, that's what they're for. They're really cool. That's a cool idea because, you know, everyone wants to take a comic and get it signed. That one's made for it, you know, an art, your own art piece or whatever. Um, I did that once. Um, I got a Betty and Veronica comic and sent it off to a friend to draw. Um, I had the video of what she drew up on my page, but it is so X-rated they uh, busted me for it and took it down. <laughs> it was funny, though. Okay, we have the High Republic again. This is Hulk 35, and it's the same Spider-Man. So that one's the same. Interesting. Interesting stuff. But you know, what's in these? I'll just see. Hopefully, they'll have more marbles next time I go. Um, I dug that. And uh, have a good day, y'all. Thanks. Bye.